found a picture we took many years ago. Hi guys, hope you're doing well. Another warm welcome to a new vlog. And in today's video, guys, I'm going to be answering most questions that I've been receiving in a video that I did a while ago. The video goes by the title How to Use Von Twin Tab Washing Machine or a Von Twin Tab Washing Machine Review. So this video is the most watched video in this channel and it has so many questions and I've been trying to answer these questions in the comment section but I feel because these questions are coming over and over and over again the same questions it seems like people are not understanding when I reply on their comments so I decided why not do a video and explain this in a video so guys today I'm going to be answering a few of these questions and hope this is going to be helpful to those who have been asking and to other many people who maybe have not watched this video so guys let's go straight to the video messages i've saved that i never sent because i don't know you but i used to back then i remember the first question that is mostly asked is do i have to have a source of water do i have to have tap water do i have to use this inlet to put water in my washing tub and the answer is you can use a bucket you can use a basin to put water in the washing tub well when using this method be ready to break your back and guys i'm not ready to break my back today showing you how to use a basin or a bucket to put water in the washing tub i just choose soft life and guys the other way that you can put water in a washing tub other than using the inlet you can just use any type of a pipe and just allow water flow inside the wash tub just like that but for me let me use the inlet that i'm used to i'll also be cleaning socks and shoes using this twin tub washing machine because this have been a question that most people have been asking and guys this is the preparation so i just use the washing powder and jig always remember to read the instructions how to use jig in a twin tub washing machine because the jig have the explanation on how to use this jig in a twin tub and also in automatic washing machine and how to use it to disinfect your things or your machine after use so ensure that you read the instruction and also they explain the amount that you can use in the twin tub washing machine so mix that very well and then now start cleaning your socks since this water is a lot it's like 10 liters i'm not only going to be cleaning my socks alone i'm going to be cleaning my fleece blankets and also our sweaters to avoid wastage of water so when cleaning your socks ensure that your socks are not folded ensure that your socks are not inside out you should turn them so that they you can clean the outside part of the socks when I said to you we would never grow old Messages I've saved that I never sent Cause I don't know you Always remember that you're supposed to separate the white colors and the other colors when cleaning your clothes. But for me, I'm sure none of these clothes that is going to shed off their colors to stain the other clothes. So be sure when doing this, when you're mixing your clothes in colors. I used to back then. I remember that I was drunk out my mind when we kissed. I'm not going to cover this and give them a full cycle of cleaning that is 15 minutes that will be my first full cycle remember I said first full cycle because I'm also going to come back and put another cycle of 15 minutes so for this to be cleaned I'm going to use two cycles of 15 minutes therefore the clothes by the time I'm removing the clothes to rinse them they are going to have cleaned for 30 minutes those are two cycles. Yes, I said two cycles. For the first time in the back of your car, we passed our counting star. It's super cold. Actually, it has just rained now. And guys, I have to keep myself warm. So here I am taking a cup of green tea. And guys, cheers. Waiting for the second cycle to be completed, it has just remained 3 minutes. For the sweaters and the fleece blankets, I'm going to rinse them behind the camera and then I'm going to be back to rinse the socks with you. But before that, let me explain something. In cases that you want to rinse these clothes in the 
washing machine and you don't have an inlet or you don't have a tap that is putting water in your wash tub you can squeeze your clothes as so and then put them in a bucket or in another basin and then put water clean water in the wash tub as i had shown you at the beginning of the video put your clothes back to the wash tub in the clean water rinse them and then later you can now dry them using the spinner but for me i'm use i'm going to be using the normal way of transferring them from the wash tub to the spinner directly so this lid is supposed to be here it's still working but it broke so it's separate so i have to keep removing it from the machine i intentionally left one fleece blanket so that i can use it to spin the socks together with it because you see my socks won't fill up the spinner and the spinner won't be balanced so when you are cleaning a few socks you're supposed to have some extra clothes that you should use to rinse together with the socks so here i am now placing the socks now this is the other secret you see the the spinner is not full and now it's going to be going round when spinning the clothes so to avoid the small socks from going into this small piece you can see this can fit very well in the small spaces in the machine so you have to make sure that you have to put a lid on top of your socks to avoid them from falling in those spaces because once it fall in that space it's going to block the machine so this is a must have lid when cleaning your socks this is a must have lid when cleaning your socks because it usually prevents the socks from jumping up and falling into the machine spaces and therefore preventing from blocking your machine let's cover our socks rinse them and also dry them I earlier mentioned about this lid so nothing to mention more about it. I will also not mention more about on how to use this machine because I already have a video on this. So if you've not watched, first watch that video and then come watch this so that you can be able to understand well. So when putting the fabric softener to your clothes after rinsing them, some people prefer putting the fabric softener with or without the top lid the one that i've removed either way is okay but for me i prefer using without the top lid that lid that i have removed because i usually balance the clothes again after i put the, the fabric softener in the clothes <music> Just give this fabric softener a minute or two to be absorbed by the clothes and then later you can switch off the water or you can transfer the, the inlet water to the wash tub so that, the, so that now the socks can dry up. The fleece and the socks are now dry but we will air them for a few hours so that they can completely dry. You can see the fleece is dry and now here are our socks just as clean i wonder why you guys always comment in my comment section saying that the machine is not cleaning your socks look at the socks even the white socks are clean and you see that guys the socks are clean let me i'm going to be showing you the white ones here here they are guys look at this isn't these socks clean as white as it's supposed to be can you see any stain here no because you used two cycles the secret is two cycles and the secret is using jig so please don't come for me again the machine can be used to clean your socks i also had a batch of dirty shoes you can see guys this is a full bucket of dirty shoes and the other question that i usually receive from you guys is can the machine be used to clean shoes here is the answer guys so i'm going to be using the same water that i used to clean the socks because i'm not going to waste any water so i just added a little amount of washing powder here are the shoes you just dip your shoes in the water after they mix after you mix the water with the cleaning powder as you can see guys the shoes are dirty 
Just trust the process, watch till the end and see the end results of the shoes. What you will notice when cleaning these shoes in the wash tub is that some shoes usually float and some usually sink. So for the ones that are floating on the water, you keep pressing them down so that they can be washed also. And guys, as that cleans, I'm going to be wiping off the shoes that are not going to be cleaned in the washing machine. Hey, as I continue answering your questions about the twin tap washing machine, please consider subscribing if you've not subscribed. Just hit that subscribe button. Imagine it's free. You are not going to be charged anything and this will support my channel. This will grow my channel. Also hit the notification bell so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video. And with this, I truly appreciate because this helps me grow my channel. It helps me grow my community and helps the video get to many people. Guys, how do you tell a shoe is clean? So for me, I usually check on the low side. Like I, you can see the white part is clean and that tells me the shoe is totally clean. So I'm going to give it a few minutes so that they can finish cleaning up. And then I'll come in and remove the shoes so that I'm ready to rinse them. So I always feel that the machine helps to clean the shoes from outside, but the inside it doesn't clean. So I come in with a sponge and I clean the shoe from inside and then rinse them. I will be putting the second batch of shoes in the wash tub. You can see how dirty they are. I'm going to leave them cleaning here and then start rinsing the first batch of the shoes that I just cleaned. And by the time I'm done rinsing the first batch of the shoes, this is going to be cleaned already. I prefer rinsing my shoes that I've cleaned in a bucket since I don't have to wait for the wash tub to finish with the second batch of shoes. Therefore, this helps me to save time. But in case that you don't have any hurry, you can still wait for the wash tub to, to finish cleaning the second batch so that you can put some more water and then rinse the shoes all together. But for me, I prefer saving time and doing it my way. Everywhere is painted with your name I remember that I was drunk out my mind When we kissed for the first time In the back of your car We passed out counting stars Promised all these years We'd pack our things and disappear I never thought I would see you here the last question that I'm going to answer today is how noisy is the machine when cleaning? So here is the noise of the wash tub when cleaning. And now here is the noise of the spinner when drying and when rinsing your clothes. It's up to you to choose if you can sustain the noise. Once all is done, you clean your machine also and then disinfect it because shoes are dirty and you will still use the same machine, the same washing machine to clean your clothes. So you don't have to leave this machine undisinfected. You have to make sure that the machine is safe and disinfected for you to clean your clothes again. Guys, we have come to the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, share to your friends, comment below and let me know if this video is helpful to you. And until the next video, bye bye and take care of yourselves. Promise of